Hello guys, welcome to Ericotti Center. I'm going to share with you about MG550 timing belt. How to install it. Full guide on this video. This belt is unlike a rover because it uses a double sprocket. As you can see. Uses a double sprocket, so we are going to reset it step by step tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to do it to get the correct start. This is the only video on the internet created by Eric Auto Center because this is the home of timing. This is the home of auto and everything concerning vehicle enthusiasm. So subscribe to Mary Cotto Center. This video engine has already started. We have already already pursued the timing, but I'm going to show you how we did it so that when you encounter it, you may be able to do it fast. This is video is not on the internet. This is the first time ever I'm doing this video. So make sure you get the video, share. Don't download it and sell to people. Those who are selling my videos, people taking huge money, shame on you. I will catch you and I will call those people. So let's get into the video. Okay, so for you to get the TDC mark, this is how it will be. It confuse a lot of people, especially these two marks here and you can see smart sprocket it's a smart sprocket and this is the main key which is facing this side so as soon as you get the tdc mark turn it to this arrow to face this hole here and you get the mark here so this is the correct mark and it will give you the tdc mark as well so as you fit the front cover you can see the t will indicate on the last line and i'm going to show you in this video so these are the possible marks so don't use the first mark use the second mark and as you indicate it you will get it clear here and this is how you set it to get the tdc mark which is the piston number one and you know, let me remind you some people have done a lot of video on the internet claiming this piston number one is not flashing on top, it's a lie. This fitting number one, as soon as you attempt to this mark, the piece is supposed to be flashed on top of the engine block, and this will give you the required timing. So don't let anybody to hesitate. A lot of video are on the internet claiming the number one piece should go down in the middle is not right. This is not good. Why we give you a start? As soon as you turn this one or you move the number one piston uh, spark plug and turn it to the top and you can see it will give you the same marks here for you to set your timing to go. Make sure to subscribe to Eric Cotter Center. This is exclusive video content for my channel and no one has done this before. You can make a million shares on search on the internet 
both Google and YouTube, but you cannot find this type of timing. You can find the manual uh, table timing, which is using the normal sprocket, but this is 1.8 manual engine, and this timing is more complicated. So you are lucky, and make sure you subscribe to this channel, make sure to like, so that you won't miss any video on this platform. If you didn't do so, it's your own problem, because if you send me a message to assist you, please, you are not serious. So as you watch the video, put your comment, comment so that it will attract people. Like the video so that YouTube will comment me, my channel, my videos to more people. So that we can grow. Because I have spent my time to doing this for you. As you can see, I have all spotted this camera for about three minutes just for you to see the correct marks. And I don't know. So yes enjoy it watch those clip the video so that you can understand it well and do it once and for all this is mg 550 1.8 manual timing belt settings so as soon as you're done by fixing head or watch you want to change your water pump or timing bed now you are able to reset the timer and here is the procedure you can see this is a vvvt timing which uses double sprocket it's unlike the normal rubber timing that uses single sprocket and that is easy and i have so many videos concerning that timing on my channel but this video it's going to show you how to set this timing because this engine uses oil control valve and this side you can see oil control valve and you can see it is uses cam sensor at the back so this is different i'm going to show you how to align the camshaft loops the camshaft loops this is more important if you didn't get this thing correct then you may not be able to spark the car so for you to get it this is how we are going to see set the camshaft loops the inlet camshaft will align on the left side and the exhaust camshaft will also align on the right side which you can see they are loops this is the this is where the loops are located it will show you the other side you can see here is where the loops may located and this is the correct timing loops comes up to loops coming to this side to the same so they are all pegging in one area and this is the best timing ever so let's check the number four look at their arrangement the timing loops are compressed down and uh, as well as camshaft to the timing camshaft loops are compressed down so number one will open number one camshaft loop will open for inlet side number two camshaft loop will open for as well side and then number four camshaft loops will also close for inlet side and as well side as well so as you can see, this is how you are going to set this timer. So when you finish setting, you can see this pocket will face this mark. You can see there is a, a blue paint there. So this pocket, this key, I'll, I'll arrow here will face this one and at the same time this also will face this side for you to get the rest out meanwhile you can see all these arrows may be connected to one direction looking at this so this is the inlet sprocket and then exhaust sprocket now look at this side properly this is the end result and how you can align them so earlier i had said this 
these marks will indicate and these marks are hiding unless you watch it carefully to see it but i make it visible clear for you so this is how you are going to get your timings in order to get the correct start and that is how it is so it is simple and as soon as you turn it make sure all these things will align them and face the green mark